innocence, I put it into the court case, so they arrested me for a felony and put me in jail. It is now illegal in the state of Arizona if you have evidence proving your innocence to put it in your court case. They will arrest you and put you in jail. Welcome to America. Uh, what I'm going to talk about here real quick is, uh, oh, I'll show you the book and the coin because right now I have no other way of making money because I'm GPS by the government, so I can't even work. So if you uh, want a coin, want a book, you can see me later. Don't have time to go into that. Uh, I've been doing this about 30 years. I started out real young in the Patriot community. I go way back. I mean, one of the guys that taught me in the beginning was Bo Brights. When I first got out of the Army, we used to run around because we had the same job in the Army. Uh, there's three real big questions nobody seems to be able to answer in the Patriot community. Why do they call us corporations? Why is everything in capital letters? Why are we considered vessels under the law? Uh, the other one is, why are we considered an enemy of the state? And that's the War Powers Act, trading with the Enemies Act in the 1930s. Uh, the third one is, why is everything in admiralty jurisdiction? I'm going to answer all three of those questions right now. You can look it up. It's called the Letter of Mark. It's Article 1, Section 8, Paragraph 11 in the U.S. Constitution. Both of them, the one written in the 1700s, one written in the late 1800s. Now, an issue here is what is a Letter of Mark? A Letter of Mark is an international agreement that allows a pirate to be considered a privateer. In other words, a legal pirate. Okay, they are legally allowed to rape, pillage, kill, murder, whatever they want to do, as long as they split the, the booty with the government. So a letter of mark is full authority granted <coughs> by a government entity to a corporate entity to be a pirate. Look it up. It's in Black's Law Dictionary, 6th edition. Don't go beyond the 6th edition. That's just a, a communist book. you got to stay 6th edition or before that if you want to know the real law. There's three requirements for a letter of mark to be valid. It's only good on the high seas. Now you know why we're in admiralty jurisdiction. It's only good against enemies. Now you know why the, the uh, Trading with the Enemies Act and the War Powers Act were written. Now you know why we all run around flying the US war flag. The United States has always had a peace flag. It's very similar, but the stripes are vertical. Flags were the first form of long-range communication. I'm walking with my army through the middle of nowhere. You're walking with your army through the middle of nowhere. We see each other. We raise our flags. Friend or foe, we know. Friend or foe is actually a legal military term. Flags are the way of signaling that. The U.S. always had a peace flag. If, if you want a good example of it, read uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne's Scarlet Letter, probably one of the best books ever written, and he goes in talking about the flag. Now our flag represents peace, and that's the meaning of the vertical stripes and blah, blah, blah. But we all wave a, a, uh, a war flag. And you'll see the difference. If you look at this paper, that is the US flag, and that means peace. This is the United States war flag. And when you fly this, you are agreeing that you are an enemy. So that's why we've been programmed there. The other thing is vessel. Okay, you got everything in capital letters, you have a social security number, you have agreed to be a corporation. Human beings do not have numbers corporations do. Clayton Act Section 17, the labor of a human being is neither a commodity nor an article in commerce. Labor of a human being cannot be taxed, not by the government, not by anybody. So they have you as a vessel. Thursday night I did a long lecture about this. Uh, we were kicked out of our room. They gave it to somebody else. It was another hometown buffet. They gave it to a bunch of enrolled agents with the IRS. And we all heard that term for years. So I just, for shits and grins, I figured I'd look up the word enrolled agent. This is a perfect example of what they've done. Enrolled, registered, recorded. Generally speaking, terms registered and enrolled are used to distinguish certificates granted to two classes of vessels. Registry is for purpose of declaring nationality of vessel engaged in foreign trade and enrollment evidence evidences national character of a vessel engaged in coasting trade or home traffic. R.C. Craig Limited, V. Ships of the Sea Incorporated, D.C., Georgia. So here's the trick. It's your fault. Okay, I've been doing this 30 years. We've been wrong the whole time I've been doing it. We, we fight them on their grounds. You are a human being, you're not at sea, and you're not an enemy. If you fly a war flag, you're an enemy. 
If you run around saying this, when it asks, is this your social security number or write your social security number, that means you're a corporation. It's not your number. It's property of the Social Security Administration. Cross out the word your, I do it on everything. And after the second S, I put the word A. They have no documentation that says it's my number. I just claim it. It's their friggin' number. If it was my number, I don't like it. I'd change it. It'd be all ones. So don't do, when, when you go to fight them, you're fighting them after you've agreed with them. The law of acquiescence in the U.S. v. Tweel and Conway versus General County says once you acquiesce, you're done. Okay? Anything that states, that's made a statement legally, if, if not rebutted, means that you agree to it. You've agreed to be a corporation, you have agreed to be at sea, and you've agreed to be an enemy. Don't do it. Because a letter of March says that they have to have all three. If you're not an enemy, it doesn't matter if you're at sea. Okay? If you're not at sea, it doesn't matter if you're an enemy. In order for a letter of mark to be authentic, valid, and apply to you, you must be a vessel at sea and an enemy. The problem is, in 1856, all the countries of the world got together in what's called the Treaty of Paris. You should read this document. The founding document of the country is the Treaty of Paris of 1781, not the Constitution. People are confused with that. What got the world organized the Treaty of Paris of 1856. You must read this document. All the countries got together and made letters of mark illegal, except for us. We can only use a letter of mark against our own people. That is why it's not illegal, and that's why to every other country in the world it is illegal. They are using the letter of mark in everything. When they create a, uh, a new government entity, they issue them a letter of mark. They have the right to rape, pillage, and kill you if it's profitable for them. When a cop goes to the academy to become a cop, they are told at the academy, you were granted your authority from a letter of mark that was issued over 100 years ago, and your badge is in lieu of carrying that letter of mark. They think that a letter of mark is good on land. It is not. It's only good on the seas. It's only good against the enemy. And it's only good against vessels. So if you can prove that you're not one of those three, that letter of mark is no good. Uh, that's what you got to do. Now, I, I, I found this out about three weeks ago. It's going around the Patriot Network. Everybody from Schultz and Rose and Wall and, and all these people are starting to come back and go, oh, shit.